Okay, let's get this show on the road. Uh, first, we'll talk to the ladies. How suspicious. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance, facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Well? Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside a beach house. But these prints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open so I went around and tried to go in from the beach house, the door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mayuru's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out to the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Ah, maybe it's Yoko. Yeah, cause she was crying when she, she left. And also, the little girl was attached to Mahiru. So I think she may be a suspect in all of this. Now that you mention it, Peko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Well. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really true? But, still. but these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the sh tunnel. Then, uh, whose footprints are these? <laughs> Man, fa uh, famous lines from Metal Gear, huh? Whose footprints are these? <laughs> Man, I miss those uh, genome soldiers. It appears. It's no mistakes that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who might that be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. Okay, add it to the truth bullet. Let's go with Peko Peko. I will never forgive killing. Hmm. However, Chiaki seemed quite different from her, her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. Then it's not Chiaki. There's no way anyone forgives something like this. I guess you're right. Sonia? Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. However. But what she really wanted, she probably wanted to spend with all of us, spend time with all of us peacefully, without something like this happening. <laughs> Mahiru, Mahiru, Mahiru. <laughs> This is too weird. Something this weird should only happen in song lyrics. Hmm, hmm that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a, a little so I thought about getting a drink from the refrigerator. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a larger var variety of drinks. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, Raha? Huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. <laughs> okay, we've got the, got the trash here. Maybe there's a clue inside tr this trash can. Ooh, there's lots of bottles there. That's what I thought, but... When there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles, I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? Okay, trash can. Let's go with a refrigerator. There's lots of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? 
Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or color. They look unhealthy. Can we click on the chair? I th think not. According to the monocoma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object, it's this metal bat, right? Huh? This metal bat? Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Ah, yeah, forget about that. That girl was killed with a blow from the metal bat, just like Mahiru. Hey, hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play too? Then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to the Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mayru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Hmm. Mm. I'm not some girl gamer who g talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about it for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? Okay, at least uh, she she finished the game, even though we we just came out of it as a uh, we call this a uh, game over. So I think uh, let's do the closet. I think the suspect may have hid here. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. It's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here too. Ah, okay, we can go in. Oh man, that's a lot. This this is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floors, only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Okay, there's three items here. Flotation devices, snorkels, nuts. There's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's not much else that could be related to the uh, incident. Oh, what's this piece of paper? A gummy? Ah! Damn, man! I'm pretty sure that uh ah I'll call her the little girl. She likes sweets and gummies. Hmm. So this is definitely a connection, man. There's something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor is in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Nice. We've got one clue there. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff, stuff jammed onto the shelves. Even surfboards and a surfboard case. But they're not put away proper, properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Hmm, I guess that that's everything inside the closet. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, nice. I thought you can freaking hide from me, huh? Uh, I've been found. Thank you. He 
it's one of those um, uh, surveillance cameras. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Those ominous surveillance. <laughs> okay, let's go with the blood. Trail of blood. There's blood stains on the floor, and there's streak as if she crawled through them. There's probably streak from where Mahiru tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away, and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Damn, man. Hmm. What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? <laughs> That's not gonna conceal anything. No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um. Gaudy mask? <gasps> that mask? You've seen this? Sunwich Esperito. It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90,000. Uh, 90,000? 90, 90 Is Sonya's country really alright? Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? Um, please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonia rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It, appears. it looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I should wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. For Sonia to be worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Okay, okay. Let's see the Bali. Ba Bali? body man i can't speak i got a cold folks so sorry about that she's all lost all life in her body it's as if she's a shell is this really the energetic Myru i knew i see her laying in front of me but i still can't believe it i can't connect this lifeless body to the high spirited Myru, but we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands and to my cheeks and faced Mayru's body one more time. Mayru is leading against the beach house door that leads to the door road. If she leaned into the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're strict, as if she crawled through them. So, she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Who the door. Myru was leaning against his door, so I couldn't open it. Okay, I think there's only... Yeah, it's only one more left here. So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustrations, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction, something like that. That's right, the shower's being repaired, so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. <laughs> just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around fixing it. I think it's the same dialogue as the the first uh, time we went here what the heck what does the your magic stick have to do with repairing You're so evil. anyway it's all monokoma's fault everything is all monokoma's fault 
Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokoma's accomplice. You must have read my mind. <laughs> think what you want of me. I'm already given up. But let me tell you one, this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. Huh, some help you are. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check inside too. Ah, oh, nice, we can go inside. Ah, oh, no, we couldn't. Ah, there. Ooh. Why is Akane here? This is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in a beach house is forbidden, jeez. What an unreasonable rule. Okay, camera. Same dialogue. Even the freaking monitor. Window. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out if somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated situated in a very high place. It's so high that even I stretch out my hand. I can't even reach it. It's probably about 9 feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case, yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Well, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through here. Leave it to me. All right, I got it. I, I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help? It feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. I'll you up. If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. Don't worry, my panties are clean. I see, that's good. <laughs> I let out a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. Right. As she shouted, Akani jumped into my shoulders. Ugh. Oh man, Hajime's one freaking lucky dude. Hey, your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. You, you're a lot heavier than I expected. Yeah, cause I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. <laughs> My stepmom's lover. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> so, how's the window? That's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. Ch check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. With Akane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Ah, you can open it. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then, it's not impossible to go in and out of that window? Yep, yep. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm. Even if I jump, I can't really reach it. But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? <laughs> but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. Like... But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, like, I got it. a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? 
Hmm, just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through the window. What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the time to pitch in and help. It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Oh well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Oh, come on, Hajime, just speak up. You really, you really, really looked at them. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Um, I guess I finished investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat? That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. That, there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. I should ask her about it. Okay. Wait. Did I just... Didn't I just put that metal bat on the... What do you call this? A uh, truth bullet? There's a toilet, but you really can't use it as a step stool. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go with Chiaki now. Hey Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Um. Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I think I've finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go? So. You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. Let's go. So let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, I never expected that person to be waiting there. Fuyuhiko. Holy shit. Hello there. W why are you here? Who freaking released you, man? Why hello there, Hajimi and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito! <laughs> it feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Why? Why are you here? Well, well there's no need to worry about a loser like me. <sighs> More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mahiru got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed, if only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. Amazing. But still you guys will be able to shine because this outcome is full of despair, right? That's right, no matter how dark this despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though I do fe feel bad for Mahiru, this is quite exciting. How will everyone overcome despair this time? Man, my voice is kind of funny. I hate having a cold. Looks like you feel no remorse. Jeez, as usual. He's acting so crazy, he's almost pissing me off. So why are you here? Who told you about Mahiru? You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monomi. Yes, it was me. You, why'd you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Um. Did I do bad? I just wanted everyone to get along and, you know, cooperate. 
There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. But fighting among friends is what Monokoma wants you guys to do. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monomi is making a valid point too. You have no right to say that. But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's going to be a class trial for my hero, right? That's right! That's why everyone must work together and have Monokoma. Enough! Enough already. Just go away already. <laughs> Understood. Nagito, you two, hurry up and get lost. Man. Well, I'm a little, little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no need for me to be here. True ending? Now then. So, although I might be a little late, I, too, will do some investigating for a while. I will try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. But if he didn't exist, the situation would be a lot easier to deal with. Damn it! Hajime, let's move on and start the game. You're right. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel like I'm just going to repeat the second day and the fourth day again, and then get the game over. So if there was a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Well? When you get the game over, that's the walkthrough. Huh? What do you mean? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too, you know. That thing that was displayed on the game over screen is that down five. Are you talking about the message that says down five? That's right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. It means you have to press down five times. Ah. Then the hidden command is... Yep. You just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as expected of the ultimate gamer. Nope. It doesn't have to do with anything being a gamer. This is just... You either get it or you don't. In fact, Nagito got it on his own so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Okay, we're gonna play this again. Hopefully, gonna get the true ending. We're just gonna press down five times. Okay, okay. I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. Open the new door to Twilight Syndrome murder case. Press down five times with your own hands. Ah, there. The screen change. She was right. Yep. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Truth edition. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press down the options button, right? Okay. Okay, let's do this. We open with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover it. However, tragedy befell these girls. Several days after the incident, one of the girls, girl E, was murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in this truth edition. Will you be able to reach the truth? Now then, let's start the first day when it all began. 
Okay. So there was definitely a first day.